Okay, it's CEO interview time, and today's uh, special guest is Keith Alano, CEO of Powerhouse Energy Group, PLC. How are you today, Keith? Doing great, Zach. Thanks for having me here. Right, well, it's a pleasure. Um, I just want to start off with the, the difficult question here, sure. um, which is distributed modular gas. What is it, and what do you do with it? Distributed modular gasification is a, is a revolutionary philosophy that we've brought to bear on the waste-to-energy industry. Heretofore, all waste energy projects have been massive in scale. They've been uh, half a billion dollar projects that are, that are taking up city block sized plots of land. We recognized that by taking a distributed approach and creating modules that could handle and, and modify the waste into something that was of value to consumers, that we could disrupt this industry. So DMG, Distributed Modular Gasification, allows us to effectively put Lego blocks together that eliminate waste from landfill, that divert waste from landfill, convert that waste into a synthesis gas, which can then be used to generate electricity or convert it into a, a pure stream of hydrogen, which can then start to unlock the hydrogen economy. Right, so, what, so what does that mean? You're, are you a waste management company? Are you an energy company? Are you uh, a technology company? What are you? Yeah, we're actually some of all three. We've got a technology that underpins the projects in which we're uh, focusing. We're focusing on eliminating uh, waste from landfill. We're focusing on creating distributed electricity where it can be used. So uh, uh, one of our units, a, a 25 ton a day unit, which is the size of our uh, of our core module will allow us to generate about 1.5 megawatts of electricity, which will, which will power about 3,000 homes. And so we can do that in the space of four 40-foot containers rather than taking up a city block. We can do that for five or six million pounds as opposed to half a, uh, half a billion. Uh, so we're, we're taking uh, projects that heretofore have just been massive and we're making uh, we're taking a small bite out of it and allowing us to use the technology where it's needed so i mean i can say to you uh, i know there's a landfill site in oklahoma there's yes. one in nigeria there's one in so and so you go there you do your stuff um, you've got you've got plenty of work to do and you can make money out of that is that correct we could do that uh, our preference is to work with local councils for instance in the uk Many councils run their own transfer stations where garbage and rubbish comes in, recycling goes out, and then the remainder gets sent to landfill. We can take that component that's being sent to landfill and convert that, capture all of the energy value out of that in a way that generates zero emissions, that generates almost zero CO2. This is not like incineration. Incineration throws CO2 in the, into the atmosphere. And so what we're doing is we're capturing all the energy value and creating the synthesis gas that then allows us to generate electricity for use at the point of need. Rather than, than several hundred miles away, we can generate that electricity without any disruption to the community and take care of the waste problem right there. We can, we can use that electricity to run that transfer station. We can use that synthesis gas to convert it into hydrogen to run the rubbish uh, trucks. Uh, to run the, the fleet of vehicles for the local council when they're running on fuel cell vehicles. So the e efficiency and the effectiveness of this distributed modular gasification technology is core to our success. But we're ultimately a project company that is running these, these multiple projects and building annuity streams for our shareholders. Does that mean that you are a, like a pioneer in the hydrogen economy? Is that, is that Absolutely. the right thing to say? We, uh, we're, we are, to my knowledge, the first company that's focusing on creating hydrogen, producing hydrogen from waste. At this juncture, uh, there, there are two main mechanisms by which hydrogen is created. Both of them have serious flaws. Both of them have significant uh, ecological impacts that our process does not have. So we can generate hydrogen with effectively a zero CO2 footprint. Whereas steam methane reformation, which is generating 95% of the hydrogen today, is generating 12 to 16 tons of carbon dioxide for every ton of hydrogen they produce. So you're, you're, you're a greener... Uh, substantially outfit. greener. Substantially greener. And, and, and again, it, it's, it's having an impact on 
the ecology, but it's also having an impact on the economy because we're able to deliver these projects at a price that has not been seen before. So we're able to take care of a waste stream in its immediate location, uh, eliminating the need for long haul uh, transportation, eliminating uh, uh, the need for transmission lines and, and transmission wires and substations and a wide variety of things that we're not, um, we're not required to use to be able to generate a valuable product for the consumer. All right, so there's three aspects here to, to, for shareholders or people interested in powerhouse energy. Um, how, are you gonna, how, how do you make money out of this? Uh, how do you um, get the message out that you, you know, you've got this new, new technology, disruptive technology? How are you getting that message out? Because it, it doesn't matter how good it is, people yes, haven't heard of it. people haven't heard uh, of it, yes. Then, you know, there's, a, there's an issue there. And also, there's also the issue that, um, as it is new, there is, you don't have the infrastructure, uh, the hydrogen inf infrastructure in the UK to get that momentum that you probably need to uh, start taking Excellent question. Excellent question. So in, in order, how do we get the message out? One is by engaging in conversations like this with you, Zach. So this is extremely valuable and I appreciate it. We're also engaging in, um, in conversations with people in communities around the country. We're having investor nights and people who are interested in understanding more about Powerhouse and what a disruptive uh, mechanism DNG can be for their community. And we're trying to get them involved in, um, in having their councils uh, be of interest, uh, be interested in this technology. The, the fact is that, that every one of our units, one of, every one of our modules is going to be generating electricity. We're going to use that electricity both to power the module, to eliminate the waste stream, to gasify it, effectively demolecularizing the waste and turning it into a synthesis gas. And then we are, uh, we're going to either sell that electricity in through private wire services. So, for instance, if we're working in an industrial site, um, we, can, we can provide electricity to that industrial site in lieu of them buying it from the grid. We can sell it to them at a favorable price. And so we're getting paid for the waste stream that's coming in, and we're getting paid for the end product that we generate. So the, the fact that we can convert one of our electrical generation stations into a hydrogen production facility, we can do that in a matter of months when the demand is there. So we're not, we're not generating hydrogen ahead of the curve, but the fact is that the need for hydrogen is going to more than double over the next 10 years, and we're going to be part of the, the mechanism that allows us to get there. By, by producing hydrogen where it's needed, uh, for instance, at a filling station, you reduce the transportation costs, you reduce a lot of the overhead costs associated with hydrogen production, and you, you, this distributed model truly unlocks the economy. Right, and just uh, uh, another point there, which is related to what you're talking about. Uh, lithium batteries seem to be like the, the yes. rock and roll. Um, are fuel cell vehicles, um, are they gonna have a future? Well, absolutely. Um, people are looking at a, a, the, the latest and greatest technology that's utilizing uh, or that is using electric power to power automobiles is a hybrid of both fuel cells and lithium batteries. So the fuel cells run all the time. They can continue to recharge the, uh, the lithium batteries. And the, the fuel cells, uh, again, generate water. Their end byproduct is, is water. So they are completely carbon negative or carbon neutral. Um, and, and when one looks at the transportation industry as a whole, you look at Toyota, uh, Daimler, uh, Mercedes-Benz, Hyundai, Honda, each of them has made a substantive commitment to fuel cell vehicles. All of them are going to need hydrogen. There's not enough hydrogen to go around at this juncture, and, uh, and the, the price of hydrogen is likely to go through the roof. And so if we look at the economic models of how we make money, Currently, we're making money by, uh, or we will be making money by a gate fee coming in to uh, eliminate waste from landfill. We'll be being paid for either the electricity or we'll be being paid for the hydrogen that we produce. If we, if we pursue the hydrogen mechanism, we're looking at a five-fold increase in revenues overnight. And so there's a substantive difference in generating electricity. Every module that we 
produce uh, every 25 ton per day unit, distributed modular gasification unit, uh, is going to be generating somewhere in the neighborhood of 750,000 pounds annually in EBITDA. How, you, how have you, I mean, this is one of the issues I see with many you know, new technology companies. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they tend to be going for market share rather than, than margin. So they mm -hmm. almost like give away stuff for effectively free just so they can get a, a foothold in the market. Um, do you have pricing power uh, and do you think that you're, you know, you know, you've established the right margins for your business in terms of getting it off the ground? Again, great questions. And, and the fact is that we have a substantial first mover advantage. We're in conversation with players that are, are major players in the transportation industry, in the industrial transportation sector, as well as the con consumer transportation sector. Um, we're looking at, at models whereby some of those players partner up with us to uh, provide us with the capex for the build out. Um, I'm, I'm truly not concerned about uh, uh, revenues or profits, generating profits from this company. It is going to be generating profits handsomely as we start rolling these out. Because again, we're looking at building annuity streams. And so we're looking at, at, uh, at exponential acceleration over the years. We're not looking at, at selling widgets and, and getting a margin on a single product. We're looking at building a long-term annuity stream that continues to pay off for years to come. Keith Alon, CEO of Powerhouse Energy, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you, Zach.